Elizabeth. Thank you for joining us this morning. At 9 a.m., we will close our social media and continue on Zoom only. Join us by getting your Zoom link at elizabethvisionaryconference.org. We will be there until 10 a.m. You can join us now, and we'll see you in the Elizabeth Zoom room. Today, your hosts are Mama Razia Curtis, Andrea Hetheru, and Deetra Covington. Enjoy. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, mama. Lisa, you came to Earth yesterday. I came to Earth yesterday. I sure did. I did. I did. Yay. Hey. We are so glad you came here. Well, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. Thank you. That's all right. Give me a with you in our presence. Yes, it's good to be here. Woo! Well, like I said, I hope that your parents had as much fun and joy and beauty making you as you have shown up to be. Oh, I'm sure they did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it was great growing up with them guys. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. All, all can't say that. So that's, that's true. So true. So that's not true. A, a given. It's not a given. It's not. It's not. It's really not. And it, and it, and it's it's why mind blowing when they say we chose them. <laughs> right. 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 Well, I learned a lot from them. So yeah, they, well, they gave me a lot to live. Choice. <laughs> yes. You know, it's also said that the children come to teach the parents. Too. Ah, that's right. Because I know my little one sure has enlightened me, especially when you need to see yourself because you don't know yourself, and then you get to see it come out in the wash. Oh, that 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 <laughs> wife tale is a true one. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she was a cutie too. <laughs> my little boop de boop. That's yes. right. Yes, yeah. My little boop de boop. So welcome and thank you so much, Creator, for allowing us this space, this time, and this, the ability to communicate and be with one another in this way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's time for roll call, shaboogie, check, check, because mm -hmm. my name is at, hey, and I'm a host, hey, and hey, I'm a host, host. hey. hey. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Deidre, yeah. Hey. And then we got who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? My name's Aduni, Queen hey. Aduni. Is hey. My name is Evelyn. Evelyn. Hey. Mama Evelyn. Yes. <laughs> hey. We My got some invisible is. people here. Who are the invisible people? Hey. The indisposed. Hey. My name is Juanita. Hey. I love to see you. Hey. hey. I'll take you. <laughs> it's a party. Hey, it's a I love party. it. That was so it's a sweet. Party. It's a birthday party. Hey. Mm -hmm. It's a birthday party. Oh, so, yes. So, Juanita had a birthday last week. Now, Anita, I mean, not Anita, I mean, Juanita. Yes, so, Juanita had a birthday last week. So, so you, so you're a Virgo? I am so Virgo. Yay. I apologetically. Yay. Yes, Lord. Hey, that Virgo energy is, is some powerful, magnificent. Oh, yes. my God. You know, all of ours is, but it's just something real different about being a Virgo. Now, <laughs> it really is. Yes, and then we is. got, so then we got, last week we had the Virgos covered. This week we got the Libras covered. Right. Yeah. Balance us wow. out. We bringing on the balance. balance. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, Gotta have this. We had that Virgo. We need it. <laughs> yeah. So the look, the Virgos help keep us uh visually knowing what you know what what needs to be uh taken care of. 
Ooh, uh, Eva, put it in perspective, okay? Yes. yes. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So important. All right. So give thanks for the lives of our sisters who are here yeah. helping us keep it together. So yes. I'm going to dig into the Isis Oracle deck today. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So let's see who shows up. My Isis is a Virgo. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, okay. Oh, my baby is a Virgo. She's 21. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, she's grown. She's a grown person. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here is our card for the day. Oh, nice. It is the flower of life. Uh-oh. I love it when Elizabeth shows up in the cards. You are entering a fertile period of your life. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Wow. Beautiful. Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now right. is the time for your blossoming. Ooh, we. I received that. That's rich, Ashe. And it, are these Elizabeth cards? This is Elizabeth cards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's call them that. I love it. <laughs> that was wonderful. flower of life. That's all right. Flower of life. <laughs> so she has the eye of Haru on her face. She has her hawk. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take wow. notes of this costume. Take notes of this costume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, I heard, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to pull that up one at some point where this, this sister is talking about the hawk and the hawk and Queen Elizabeth that just passed and um, the whole queendomship and the, and the significance of the hawk of the hawk and um yeah 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 that it was represents a roof mm -hmm. it was deep it was so deep and the the kingdomship and the and the and the hawk right and that hawk can do good or bad right and the symbolism I'm, it was yeah how yeah right and um yeah, and she was comparing it with Snow White. Oh, you I gotta hear this. The oh, Queen, guy. where did you see that? Was it on YouTube? It was on, I believe it was on YouTube. I saved it. I okay, good. I, I'd like to see that. We, we can watch it, you know. That was one that there's a lot of comments behind that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, she was, I'm sure. She was breaking it down uh, astrologically, mm -hmm. um, she was doing the cards and, mm -hmm. and all of that and what she showed. Because uh, it was about the world. That's where her gift is. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, it was like, whoa. It was deep. It was deep. Yeah. We'll get that That's good. something because Sunday, Sunday when I was um, being the docent at the woman house, I happened to take a little walk outside and it was so beautiful and bright and sunny and I had to block the sun so I could see. And there was a cluster of hawks above. Oh, really? I usually only wow. see one or two, but yeah. it was like 15, 20 of them. They just, they, they had a little pattern. I wanted to take a picture, but it, when I took a picture with my phone, my phone kind of couldn't see them. I was like, wait a minute. I'm, I know I see what I see. Uh -huh. but, right. But the lady that was volunteering with me, she, um, she was saying that she's been seeing packs of them on the ground really? in her neighbor's really? yard. So I uh, we I'm gonna write this word down. Gonna have to look up this spirit totem because they're all that's the that's the that's the bird of the day that we're talking about. So you might want to look up that spirit totem. We'll do that a little later. I'll I'll go into that okay. a little later. Okay, cool. So we want to kind of change the format. I want to move the mo the movement move the movement towards the middle when we do the sep you know when we do the off of social media and on to Zoom only. Okay, so, so do you know we're not on, on social media at all? Right, that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to yeah, stick with the change. format because when it pops up, I want to be ready. Ready, that's right. <laughs> because uh -huh. more people are in the 
session in the mid more in the middle sometimes yes we've already had a nice little warm-up already thank you queen of Dooney. that was awesome that I was great. Know. I know how to put my little belly stuff on my hips and everything. <laughs> All right. So we did have a little homework. Did anybody, I see a ball in Deetra's office. Did anybody go get their balls from uh, Five Below? <laughs> no, I didn't know that was an assignment. I, my mama has one down in the basement. You need to yeah, pull it up. I got one in the garage. Yeah. We've got one in yeah. I think I think okay. it still works. So I'm gonna reassign. Okay. Dietrich got her ball. Now I do need to blow mine up. Hey Star, I see you over there. <laughs> you look nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I beamed down from the planet Venus today. I have on my spacesuit. Mm. Oh, then I had the right music for you, baby. Yes, you did. I was like, oh boy. Okay, so yes. So I don't know what size or whatever, but Five Below has these, so you can get them for $5. Only $5. Only $5 at Five or Below. Or go get one from your friend who's not using theirs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. All right. So That's our assignment for next week. Yes. Okay. $5 balls. That's all right. So, Dietrich, what is the yellow one? Is that something different? It's smaller. Oh, the gray okay. is bigger and the yellow is a is smaller. It's okay, the same great. thing. All right. So now another thing we can we can do some of the exercises that I like. I'll call a movement just to keep in the movement zone. I like to use movement. Okay. Because then then I can be the I can be the expert. Okay. For okay. my body. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. So our topic today is mother and daughter rituals. So what I really wanted to do is just basically really have a share of mother and daughter ritual. Now, I just wanted to show you all some images that may bring back some memories. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me do this thing. Do -de -do -de -do. Let's see. I don't know how I can hold this and suspend this. So, can you all see that screen? Yes. So, check out these products that we used to use on our hair. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're talking Royal Crown, yeah. Ultra yeah. Sheen, Ultra Hair Sheen. Food, Sulfur 8, right. Furries, Blue Magic. Yes. Uh -huh. We used to use Grease. We yes, did. Yes. We sure did. <laughs> and mom would get that comb and part your hair and right. oil that scalp right there. That's right. Part mm -hmm. it oil. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you're sitting between her legs. And she, like my mom, she would oil my scalp. We would shampoo my hair, oil my scalp. And she would brush my hair a hundred strokes. hundred strokes. Wow. Right. With the yes. Stanley brush. The Stanley brush. Did you see the Stanley brush? The Stanley brush and comb set right here. Y'all remember that? <laughs> yep. And then yep. you had the baby version? Yes, yes. Okay, come on with it now. Yes, yes. So that was a part of the ritual. Now, there was a, a video. <laughs> I have to share this one. There was a, I guess the woman was her grandmother. And so the young lady was sitting in between her legs and she just kept saying, ah, you know, not like this. <laughs> And she said, what's wrong? She was like, girl. No. She was like, girl, I'll be finishing the one in a minute. She was like, you need to go watch. You know, it was so funny. I, it was just hilarious. But you know, you know, we don't think about all the things that uh are factors. <laughs> I just love that. I just loved it because she was doing her best around here. Yeah, she was she was doing her best to be respectful. She was like, Ma, come on now. She was like, hey, I'm almost done with your hair. If you sit still, I can get done. And she was kind of like, No, nah, you need to go take care of that. But I just love that. But that was an issue with my mother and I because I it was just the hair. You know, we're gonna get this hair brushed and oiled. And that's something that I see that we've moved away from. But when we yeah. sat with mom. Or whatever our caretaker was, we 
That's when we had conversations. That's yeah. right. That's that right. was our therapy. That was our bonding time. That's our bonding time. Yeah. And something that really bothered me when I was looking at it, I'm looking at the relationships that well, which we have changed that tone of, you know, women aren't able to work together. But to one of the things that I think is missing from our womanhood is that I'm not saying don't go to the, I, I, I respect and love the hair salon, but there are some people that never touch their own scalp. That's right. That's a self bonding or letting someone shampoo your hair. That is a bond time with women. That's therapy. That's, that's counsel. It may not, I'm not saying this, uh, can't call it a practice or whatever, but our hair our the people that take care of our hair, our hair technicians, if you will, that's bonding time and counsel time when we talk and share right. things that are going on in our lives. And the only way for us to grow is to share. We can't we can't grow without sharing. You know, they say not to tell your business. You know, you can mask it. You know, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. to keep from telling the actual details but we need to share experiences because that helps us grow or if That's someone true. comes you know if someone comes to that moment you know they'll say oh you know I can call so and so they've had to deal with this you know but I so don't true. think so true yes I just think that it's so important that we have that time you know and and our own our own heads our own hair there are different relationships that we have as women with our own hair where back in the day we dealt with our own hair we had it styled or groomed if you will shampooed and whatnot and now it's just you know lay and i respect i respect the other hair but we have to be mindful of the things that are being used in those other uh products that we have encountered but again it's all about the conversation and sitting with time with our elders and our grandmothers i know when i went to go see my grandmother in gary indiana she always had the comb ready because the first thing we're going to do is scratch her scalp she's like angie come <laughs> right and i love doing my grandmother's hair i love yes, well, I don't really yes. style it or anything but just that whole that whole essence of putting my hands on her yes loving on her and we talk you know how was your trip and whatnot so those moments are very precious Isis had a chance to bond with her great grandmother because grand, great grandma Ruby would do her hair when we went to California she, Isis sat between her you know that was like such a Aww. moment like a milestone so I just wanted to have you all just round robin if you have those experiences please share and it could be your sister a, a friend or whomever you had that that time with i just like to you know share stories. okay i would love to share um yes and it comes to this hair and believe it or not i am tender headed so it was always tough for anybody to do my hair don't i don't even like anybody to touch my hair but anyway and i'm still tender headed all my <laughs> life oh my goodness yeah so anyway but it started my mother of course was the one that would wash my hair every you know every two weeks whatever she would do and then you know she would do it you know we did press and comb she wasn't no braider she was a presser but um but then in the summertime she would like my sister to braid it oh my goodness and that sister of mine is heavy-handed Oh. So she would French braid, but she would do it so tight. I was like, good gracious, you know. <laughs> so anyway, but in the summertime, I would sit between, you know, sit there with my sister and she would braid my hair in a pretty corn roll it, however. But it was very wonderful um, when it was done. But my head would be sore, but that was okay. But that was a bonding time with my mom and my sister. My mom would wash and turn it over to my sister. So that was good. Yeah. So, um, but it's so beautiful now because now my sister's daughter, you know, she's really into hair too. You know, she does the natural um, twist, twist outs or something like that. So that's what she does. 
But um, yeah, so I have other things I want to share, but I'm going to stick with hair. Um, but it started with my mom and my sister for that. Yep. And I have two boys, so I didn't, I couldn't care, push it on, pick your in. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was between me and my mom too. She she was a presser also, but yeah. she could braid. But she, it was just regular braids. It wasn't cornrow. She didn't do that. But yeah, it was press. I remember when she thought it was a good idea to dip the hot comb in the in the grease and then go to my head, and I had all <laughs> right here. And I remember when she realized that I was pressing my own hair. Oh, well. And she walked in on me and she just looked and kept going because I thought she would be mad, but she wasn't. Mm-hmm. So I started taking care of my own hair. I, I was taking care of my own hair before that, but that's when she saw that I was like using a hot comb. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So it was, Without it, dipping the grease, dipping it in the grease. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and my aunt was the hairdresser. And her daughters did hair and my favorite cousin, I'm going to say it, she's my favorite cousin. She's older than me and she's, she's had some health problems, but she, that's what, that's how, cause she was always on, you know, on assistance, but she had four kids and that's how she did, made her extra money. Uh-huh. And she was organized and was a coupon queen uh-huh. and that's how she did, that's how she, she did hair and I would, go up there every, every, you know, every week or so and just hang out. And then I would take her shopping and stuff. And yeah. And so that's the way me and my daughter, but I think I got a perm one time and I had it for maybe a year and I didn't do the every two week thing, yeah. you know, touch it up. I waited like four months. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't let them put I wouldn't go and then my girlfriend would do it for me because I said it's too expensive to go the first time I went it was this young lady and I went to her apartment and and I you know and I said okay but I I, I really like having the versatility of my hair so you know I press it and I flat iron it but in the summertime that ain't happening I braid it up and just keep it going right 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 and I do my daughter's hair She's never had a perm. Um, yeah, so right now she's with the two braids, you know. And uh, how old is your daughter? <laughs> she's almost 40. I'm still oh, doing her hair. Had a perm. Please teach your daughters how to do their hair. They do their own hair. I didn't do that, so I'm still doing her hair. Oh, <laughs> she's a virgin. She's a virgin, a hair, hair virgin. yes 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 anyone else we would celebrate that at the shop when we first when we first got the full shop Mm -hmm. uh, and a person came in and they would give us that story Uh we would all stop and celebrate that she's a virgin we say she's a virgin oh my goodness (laughs) You know, she never had her hair permed at all. Right. She's a virgin in the house. She's a virgin. Oh, that's <laughs> neat. We would, we would celebrate nappy hair. We would celebrate all that. But my mom, there were four girls and I was the oldest. So I had three that, um, you know, I would take care of the hair. And, um, but my mom, let me tell you that, that little heifer, she she tricked me one time so i the girls i'm in elementary school and the girls come to pick me up and i'm sitting between her legs my friends are sitting right in front of me it's about three of them and she's telling me that um that she's going to put a lot of little braids in my hair and I am sitting there in front of my friends just crying because I did not want a lot of little braids. In my <laughs> and, you know, so she would just play around with it. It ended up I had three braids in my hair. Right. <laughs> oh, well, wow. I'm so caught up that I can feel her fingers separating and she's putting all these little, you know, aunt your mama braids on me and stuff. That's how I'm sitting there looking. And then here she is, 
when I get up, I got three braids in her hair, and, and three or five, maybe five braids in my hair where she done sectioned it off. You right, know, right, right, right. So the one, two, three, four, five. You get five. So uh, that's that was one that I really remember about Mama. <laughs> yes. And uh, and her, you know, fooling me like that, but. Yeah, and then I did, I did, you know, the others, and um, I was quick to to take over so that my mom can take over dealing with me, so my mom can take care of the other. The okay, other. okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, but we, yeah, that was that was, uh, and then all of us would be in the kitchen, so all of us would be in there talking and stuff, you know. Yes, yeah, that wonderful. That kitchen, man, that kitchen is where some body. That's the place. Is right there. The, the the bad thing about the bonding is when she's hurting you, I'm sure, you know, Dietra, you experienced that it's hurting, it's too tight. And then and then you get this. Be still. I say <laughs> and you're going crazy, you know. So um, but yeah, those are those are good good times sitting in the kitchen doing hair because we wasn't dealing with extensions so you didn't have hair all over in the refrigerator or anything right. like that. you're just sitting there and and maybe close to the if you're not going to get your hair braided you'd be close to the um to the stove and uh and then of course when the perm came then that that was another story right there but right. so where did so where did oh so Juanita did you have any um hair ritual stories to share because I wanted to ask some questions. Yes, 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 and yes. Um, I hope I'm not showing my whole indisposed self. Um, so I'm glad we're not on social media. Um, and I know it's going to be recorded. So I'm going to take myself off video because I have to hold the phone. Uh, you up. checked in. It's all right. You're excused. Okay. Thanks for the okay. flash. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, so my mom, she washed my hair every other week. And... Um, use tame in my hair because quote unquote mm. I had natural curly hair. I tell you somebody should have smacked that little girl and got her together because she wore that out. Yes, I have naturally curly hair. I mean they they put that back in my face. I, I can't live it down. Anyway, um so um she would but she would press my hair and she'd have it looking so gorgeous, you know, more gorgeous than I wanted to look. I never wanted to to own own that, you know, being being gorgeous as she made me and so um that was a beautiful experience but the experience of a lifetime was the experience the, the mock hairdresser experience that my five-year-old granddaughter and her twin brother gave me um so she was in my hair um and i was at her shop and it was the most awesome experience that I've ever had because she she treated me. She says, oh, girl, I'm going to give you the best experience. I, I am so good to my customers. And um, would you like some water? Oh, just massage her hands and feet while I finish doing her hair. And oh, my God, she just... I can't tell you all the little details. Um, are you comfortable? Are you warm <laughs> enough? Um, I want you, I want you to feel good. And this girl, I tell you, she got customer service finesse already when she wants to use it. But um, I'm looking forward to my next experience with her because even though she didn't do a thing to my hair, but just playing it, and I wound up looking like <laughs> boo boo or whatever. But honey, that experience, that customer service experience, yeah. you can't tell me my soul was so uplifted. And so Aww. there's, oh yeah, there's power in how our, you know, hair care givers treat us in the process. And baby, she's got it. She's got it. And I just, but she's, I don't know. I can't wait. You know how our kids show these different talents and you're like, oh, you could be so great at this. And then it never shows up again because right. they, Find, find some other kind of talent or something exactly exactly yeah. prayerfully it'll come back up every now and then she'll offer me do you have for me to do your hair again so it just hasn't been the right time i'm like i'm going someplace else where i can't keep looking like 
I would be looking when she gets through with me. But the experience, <laughs> I am so looking forward to that, having that experience with her again. Yes. That's beautiful, Anita. So we're talking about that, that wonderful imagination right there. That's um, right. So I got, I, I got to get her um, mama camera to have in the house because she performs. It's not a performance. She she has these experiences all day, every day that really do need to be recorded. If she, if she knows she's being watched, it shuts down. Okay. Well, but I need to schedule an appointment. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, I, yeah, it would be a matter of just spending enough time that she's comfortable with you. Just you just become a part of the scenery in the house, and then she yeah. she'll come on out with it. Yeah, that's all right. I love it. Yeah. So. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about, so I'm remembering, like, with my mom and I, we had the comb and brush experience. But with Isis, when Isis got here, I was twisted. Yeah. I twisted that baby up from day one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was so funny because there were times when she didn't have locks, but mo Isis, Isis had locks first, I think. But I remember when she had braids or when I would twist her hair, I would, you know, I, my thing was I need to put her in front of the television. But Isis would ooh and ah. I would stop and not do nothing. And she would go, ooh, ah, ooh. And I'm like, I'm not, even touching, me. I'm not even touching you. So I don't know if it's from me, if it's memory, if it's trauma. I don't know. But, I, you know, and sometimes I think that, you know, we might take out combing and brushing on our children when they've been, you know, busy or, you know, because, you know, that, you know, like, why are we being so not so you know, rough why today? Are we not, why are you so rough today? Why are you so rough? <laughs> what kind of day did you have? Because that energy goes into who you're working with. That's true. That's true. Right. But um, I'm trying to think, did I have another one? That was my funniest right there. But, um, oh, the other funny one was when um, we cut our locks. And it was really embarrassing because we didn't have a comb or a brush in the house because we, you know, it was years of locks. Right. Like, you didn't and I was it. like, I cut everything. And then I went, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I had to go get a fork. <laughs> I had to go get a fork. <laughs> the and it was really something that I hadn't paid that attention, but I didn't need to. I thought that was hilarious, but yeah. you know, just looking at the types of things that we had in our in our box or whatever, you had an afro pig, you had the combs with the handle, the regular comb, you know, you had a rat tail comb so you can make those parts, you know, right. just the different types of combs that we had. But I and also when I was little, I I had four girlfriends and honey, I shampooed and pressed and curled everybody's hair. Mm -hmm. Now my grandmother. I meant to get a picture of the curling iron that we used to use. My grandmother, honey, she could click, 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 yeah, and yeah, cool yeah. them off, spin around, click, click, yeah. click, 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 honey. <laughs> so the, the can I, baby. The so magic. can I. And I still got my curlers. <laughs> I still got my curlers. The I sure iron, do. The the ones. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. learned that. Yeah. I used to mock my grandmother, but she would make those curls that would be this, you know, the little ones. Yes. She yes. maybe had three different irons. You know, you had your little stove. The little stove looked like mm -hmm. a little pizza mm -hmm. oven. Right. Oven. <laughs> but all of these nostalgic things and the hot comb. We can't forget the hot comb. The mm -hmm. hot comb. We have, have more tattoos and brands with the hot comb. I have the good ones because the ones they make now you know, it's, it's the ones they used to make, that company, they used to make them and the comb, the comb, the teeth wrap around the, and they, you, well, I don't know what they make it now, mm -hmm. but I had to hold on to that. And I'm like, oh my God. And they stopped making them. And I'm like, oh. but right. yeah, I don't, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the but one I used that to, I used to like, like, like this, the, the pressing iron that had, yeah, that, that had the curl. Flat. It, it yeah that curve so that when you come off of it it the hair just yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't have that but i do i forgot the name of the company but uh -huh. it was black owned and um yeah they made the combs where it, it was the teeth were wrapped around the barrel it wasn't stationary and you could oh. move the teeth and you know 
Oh wow! Cleaning them suckers is yeah, because the the the. The oils and stuff would build and build up in the comb. So I just cleaned them like a couple of weeks ago because we don't use a lot of product. We we I don't use a lot of product in my hair. I use natural oils in my hair. And my daughter, you know, we get this oil that you put on when you blow dry. And um, yeah, she yeah, RJ's tender headed. I used to braid his hair. You know, he's had different incarnations where he wanted it long, and then we start combing. Right. It. No, cut it off. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and my daughter's hair is down her back, you know, so it's like, can you braid my hair? And I'm like, oh. oh, goodness, that's a job. And she wants me to braid it when it's, it's not in its natural state. And when it's in its natural state, it's easier to braid. It's easier to cornrow because it holds. Right. And it's straight. That's hard to hold. I'm be like, <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to mention that my four daughters all learned to do their own hair very young because mommy didn't have those skills you know that was at the age you know the 80s and 90s that was the stage where you know more natural braids were coming up and all they got out of me was little ponytail puffs or individual braids so um, I had mm-hmm. one daughter who didn't have much hair uh, until she started combing and brushing her own hair at the age of around four or five. That's mm-hmm. when her hair started growing. It wouldn't grow for me. Um, and I think a part of why they started doing their hair early, aside from me not being able to do it in any style that was, you know, that they felt good about, there I was under such stress. I allowed myself to just be in overdrive all the time got to do this, got to do that, got to do that. And I'm really just not coming out of it um, and, and recognizing that this is not serving me. But I think that energy that got transferred to them, just, it wasn't good energy. They probably don't have good memories of, of their hair care experience with mommy. So, but they, they learned to do their own real early and they still do their own braids and twists. They're fabulous with it. And in fact, some of them got people who come to them and to do braids and stuff because they've been doing it since they were real little yeah because wow. that's the good that's the good of it you know that it drove them to, to learn their own skills earlier yeah so that that was awesome because i know having a sister i would take care of my sister my sister was my baby i was like i was nine year old and had a baby and i put my baby alive away and had a live baby i, <laughs> I wouldn't let my mother do nothing but buy her her food okay but um so with the evolution of our hair, because we started out just wearing ponytails or whatever, so you weren't getting it pressed yet. So where did your hair care start? Did it start in the living room or the dining room? You know, look at those places. And then as we began to start pressing, then we moved to the kitchen. Right. So we to be next to the <laughs> And then sometimes we might, if you shampooed your hair, you might go to the porch to help it air dry faster. So just think about those places and spaces that you spent that time together in that hair ritual moment. You know, think about those places. Well, yeah, I still um, always remember the kitchen, you know, getting my hair washed. <laughs> right, right, because that's where you got a shampoo. <laughs> right, exactly. Mama, right. And then we go to the living room where she combed it all out and I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I wash my hair in the kitchen sink still. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I like a better, it's a better control for me. Mm-hmm. My daughter washes her hair in the shower. I don't like water in my face like that, you know, and then my hair, yeah, it gets kind of tangled. And I, I like to, I like shampoos that, that, that I don't have to, comb it so much because it's not tangled so much and so I have more control if I'm like this right, right. Than, than I'm like this so uh that's something we do different but um we moved from the kitchen and I used to have one of those little stoves and then I got rid of that and then I just got one of those little burners, you know, that you just oh. plug in. And right. so we can do hair anywhere, but we usually end up in the kitchen and it's uh-huh. just, 
it's just wash, blow dry, pretty mm-hmm. straight. Um, hit the edges with the hot comb. I don't mm-hmm. do the hot comb all the way through oh, her hair because that's just too much heat to be pressing. Right. I mean, blow drying, right. pressing, and then, mm-hmm. you know, flat iron. So it's just blow dry, hit the edges, and then flat iron. And that's what we do now. But it's in the kitchen. Right. In the living room when it's, when it's too hot. But we right. found out right. that we can't blow dry in the living room. Right, right. <laughs> and then the blow dryer can cause burns, too. <laughs> <laughs> got a good blow dryer, sure can. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? The shorting, I was just laughing because you were saying you would knock out the whole building with the blow dryer in the, in the living room. Yeah, the kitchen had the better plugs, man. You know, <laughs> change, the, change the fuse, Junior, because we didn't blow it. <laughs> Lord, these products, you know, we don't even think about how much energy those things took because the blow dryer could be just as bad. You burn ears, just blow dryer burn ears too, you know. Yeah, but I was just yeah. remembering my niece, my niece's hair was such that the only place I could do her hair was in the shower. I had to shampoo it and comb it out in the shower, let the water help me. Because it was not, we fighting if it's if we outside the shower. So I just was like, Kelly, come on, let's just get in the shower. But I didn't know the trick. Warm water will make any hair submit. Okay. A warm water spray bottle mm-hmm. and a little bit of vinegar too, right? Just a bit. You don't want to use too much, right, Mama? A doon, Queen of Dooney. So you had to know these tricks to to the trade as well. So, oh, I wish I knew that when I was doing RJ's hair. Warm water. Daddy's hair. The warm water go. Yes, his, sir. The hair goes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He got his daddy's hair. And we realized we didn't have to shampoo it so often. And that's when it became, you know, kept it shine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, pretty much. It's, I said, oh, we don't have to shampoo every day you know, a few days, you know, that we're drying this hair out. We just, or co-washed it with some conditioner. So yeah, we, we, right. we got hold of how to do it. So now he's trying to do his wave thing. I'm uh-huh. thinking, okay. <laughs> so he's brushing a lot mm-hmm. on the waves. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's when, you know, they're getting interested in, um, mm-hmm. other in folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's how I knew when fame I said, I'll know. I'll know when you're interested in girls. You know, that's a rites of passage. Then, it's like, I gotta uh-huh. first, I gotta get my waves. Want to make it look good for yeah. other people. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it, he didn't care. But I knew. Mm-hmm. So, I Star, did. did you have a story to share? Uh oh, I caught you at right at the waitress time. Right when you put something, put some breakfast in. <laughs> 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 Well, I, I'll start while Pam is swallowing. Pam <laughs> care less about hair. Hey, I understand. So, and she had she had beautiful long hair. And um, yeah, Pam couldn't, she could care less about beauty. As beautiful she was at, as she is now. As a little girl, she was just beautiful hair. And, and I would have to tie, I'd have to tie her down. I'd get Pam on the bed. Oh, did you put it between? Did you get the leg lock on there? No, I. this was for me to do her eyebrows. <laughs> she had one eyebrow going across. <laughs> A unibrow. <laughs> and I would have to get on and put my knees on her Ooh, arms. That's could, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, Pam. Did you plug eyebrows or did you shake? Um, did you? I only knew how to. I think <laughs> I how to pluck. Ooh we, ooh we. Look, that's why we don't want to be bothered with all that hair and makeup and stuff. It hurts. I just rather get up and go. I ain't got time. I don't know how this snuck up on me. I don't know. I don't know how it snuck up on. Me. I haven't had hair on my hair in a long time, but. That is, I am not that one. I'm ready to go. I don't, I'd rather stay in the bed and get ready than do all of this. Deal, deal, deal with the hair, yeah. Yep. So, let's go back to the ritual of hair oh, with Pam. Us. Pam oh. never. Oh, oh yes, yes, she's ready. Stopped. She's ready. Yes, she's ready. Come on. <laughs> I do. I do remember that, Aduni. I do. 
Don't go to sleep. I do, I do remember that. I do need to forgive you for something that I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I um I don't really remember, you know, what room or what, but the one thing I do remember is that when Mama had the pressing comb, it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> And there's the fear, even if she didn't, there's the fear that you're going to get burnt with this hot cone. You know, do you know what you're doing? And then, I know. And then we get close to me. It just, ooh. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And I remember one time when we went to um, this hairdresser, they were white people. And they didn't know what to do with our hair. Right. And I'm sitting there wondering why in the hell are we even here? <laughs> you know, but um yeah, those those were not good bonding times when you had to get your hair done. <laughs> All right. I love you, mom. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No. Mom, what were your topics of discussion? What did you talk about? Me and my what? mom. Uh -huh. What were the topics of discussion while you get besides the ooh and the eye and pop hole still? I didn't, I was a person that never really had much to say. Okay. I'll just sit there and, and squinch and do this until she was done. And then I got up and went on my, my way. Mm -hmm. okay. But I, one thing I do know is when she sent me to charm school, I hated it. You didn't like that. I didn't see why I had to be charming. I'm a tomboy. I like it. I enjoy it. Why do I have to be charming? The only thing I remember about charm school is walking with some book on my head. For oh, what? Lord. But um, yeah. I love my mom. I love you, mommy. Yes, yes, yes. We love our mommies. We do. Now, my mom would not let me. My mother did not. I did not get to do my mother's hair. She didn't. She was. She did not play. Use. I can't even get it out. She didn't play that. I'm not no. touching her. No, not her. I used to do my daddy's hair. I didn't do my mama's. I did okay. my daddy. I braided his and put barrettes on it. <laughs> okay. He let me do it. Look, mama probably didn't want the payback from the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm oh. good. I'm good. Oh, mama knew about karma, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. So it won't come from my daughter. No, 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 not, no, no, not there. No, not there. So <laughs> that's just funny. Just, you know, just <laughs> thinking about the memories. Um, So funny, you know, how we receive it. Because I, I could care less about all the girly stuff. I want to go hang out with the boys because they have more fun. They're going to ride the bikes. They're playing football, baseball, basketball. I could play with my Barbies. I love my Barbies and everything. But the boys are doing activities. I'm just here to do, 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 do. Right, are you right, right. Dress and undress the dolls and do the hair and put on some different clothes and you what else is there to do, you know? Exactly. True. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, you yeah. know, but I have other rituals too with my mom. Yes. Um, ready. you know, um, one thing that I do with my mom each spring <laughs> is go fishing. I used to fish oh. with my mom and we would sit there and talk again, you know, but she would teach me what to do to get some fish. I, I don't even think it was about catching a fish. It was just the in the environment, you know, just the process. So I love that with my mom, you know, going fishing. It was it was a certain point we would go up um, I seventy five to. Up. It was just nice. I don't even remember the name of that place. Up north. Say it again. Was it Ottawa? Or was it going up north? Were you going oh, to Ottawa? No, we would go north? south. Sorry, south on seventy five. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's or all right. Toledo, yeah. And then another okay. thing was going to Eastern Market on every Saturday. I would go with my mom and my sister to Eastern Market to go get fruit and flowers or whatever. And so that was a nice um, ritual. You know, every Saturday, that's what we would do. So that was a nice thing to do, go to Eastern Market. Okay. Well, I wanted yeah, to say that's awesome. Things. So, I yes, we can move. Hair. Go ahead, Evan. I can press my hair without a mirror. Oh, mm. good. I can okay. get close and press my hair without a mirror. But the ritual, right. my mom burned incense and candles, and that was something we did together. Was go to, oh, you know, the places okay. where the candles are and they have all the incense and all that. Yes. That was her. Because uh -huh. she was in the numbers. Remember the numbers? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the horse races, that's where they got the numbers from at first. 
<laughs> yeah. So that that was our that was my mom's thing. She sit there and do her little figuring, and I'll be like, she write on anything. Don't leave no paper, no nothing <laughs> important around right. her. Mail, phone doing books, everything. And you all were in po Pontiac. How did they say it? Pontiac. Pontiac. They didn't Pontiac. know that down here in Detroit. They didn't say Pontiac. They said po Pontiac. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because we had to find out what was the number in Detroit. What was the number in Pontiac? Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. And the number yeah. man used to come by the house. Yes. We had, we actually had two numbers, ladies, on the block. We had one in the front of the block and one in the middle. Okay. <laughs> and you know what's so funny is that one household, one of the daughters does income tax. The uh, grandson is a math teacher. So I thought that was, that was just fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So let's move to other rituals. So we had a kitchen ritual where we learned how to cook. That's we had, I don't know if you had a washing clothes ritual. Oh. To learn how to wash. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Yes. When we, we moved here in 67, right after the riots, we lived when Chrysler plant was on the other side of Jefferson. It was at our backs. We were on Claire Point Street. We had two ringer washers. The basement looked like something from what was that movie about the people in the woods? And <laughs> <laughs> that's what the basement looked like. But I wasn't afraid. But we, we could just go up the stairs and hang our clothes because we had two ringer washers, one to wash, one to ring out, you know, rinse. One of these with the rollers. I love that yeah. one. Look. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, that's I always cool. wanted to go through the ringer. You know, too much Bugs Bunny, but I was like, I just want to go through the ringer one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love it. it was so much fun because you got to interact with the washing machine. Mm -hmm. I think it was fun for me because now, you know, you just got the buzz. You'd be like, damn it. I mean, oop. You'd be like, dang, it's time for the, to go get the clothes. It, I hate that buzzer. But that ringer, I mean, it was so much fun. You rung them out. You didn't need a dryer. And now no. we go where? Where do you go after the ringer washing? We go outside to the clothes. I love the clothes line in the clothes pan. Uh, I think the clothes <laughs> lasted longer yes. and they smelled good. Oh, your yes. sheets just yes. smell I mean, so good. Yes, yes. Yeah. But there was a skill to hanging clothes with the clothes pins. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Understand. Mm -hmm. yes. But then you take the clothes pins and you put them on the ends of your hair. What? That's what we did in St. Kansas City. We take the clothespins so that we could have long hair. Oh, oh it would pull. Yes, yeah. yeah, it would and expand. Then, and then you know, and then the the uh, uh, the way. the men, you know, the uh, the what is it, Korean, whatever they are, they figured out. Oh, they like that, so they made them colorful. Oh, so that we could put, you know, red and green. That those were our beads. Right, right. And, yeah, and so then you would get that length. Yeah, they would they would uh, stretch the the shrinkage, stretch the shrinkage. Okay. They'd also beat the crap out of your face when you. I know that's true because yeah. all of them are coming and you right you little, so you just <laughs> yeah, that was it. Them clothes pins. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was yeah. a good time. Fun memories hanging those clothes outside. You know, oh, that, was, yes. that was the bomb. I always told her, I said, I need to, I want to have, you know, a clothesline out here because when I first got here, we didn't have a dryer. And my mother was like, no, y'all going to get a dryer for that baby. You need the baby's clothes need to be soft. You need a dryer. Because I was hanging my clothes in the baby. I love hanging clothes. I think that I don't really remember my great grandmother, but I think that's something I remember doing with her outside or at least watching her. Because yes, those yes. are fine memories of, you know, of our, of my ancestors, my great grandmother. And then my That's aunt, we outside, you know. We outside. Like, right. So anybody else have, uh, you know, either, you know, good or, good or challenge stories with the clothes, the washing. So my, da my dad was too cheap to buy the dryer. He bought the washer in the family home now. So we just had the washer. And so up until my daughter was like, hmm three or four, I was still hanging her stuff outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grand Rising, Alita. Grand Rising. We're just talking about rituals with our, our, our moms or our daughters or our family, period. 
we were talking about hair. Now we're talking about other rituals that we've had. So chime in if you feel. All That's right. what we're talking about. Good morning, everybody. Rising. 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 All right. Yeah. I used to like it when once the clothes were dry. I used to like, especially because I used to like it, especially when they were when all the lines were yes. full and you just walk through the clothes. It was just yeah. so, you know, so much fun. As a kid, as a was, kid yeah. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. wait, when it rained, hurry up, go outside and get the clothes on. <laughs> right. <laughs> that became a very stressful. Hurry up, go get the clothes. <laughs> so you don't go outside, but you just go get the clothes off the line in the rain. Uh -huh. But guess what? We didn't need to iron nothing when we hung our clothes. Ain't that something? That's right. We're doing too much. We're doing too much with convenience. <laughs> too much. Now I don't remember my mother having me fold. I don't. I don't think I had to fold the clothes, but I have to take them down. And you and you don't want to ball them up, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember, yeah. but I, I remember going out on the line with my grandmother and aunties and mother. You know, putting clothes up on the line in Mississippi, because that's where my grandma lived, and we all was down there. So that was something we would do all the time. You know, we were washing the same type of washer that you talked about, and then we would hang them on the line. But it was everybody together. You know, we were all together and having a good time, knowing we got to do it, so we got to do it, you know? Rituals, like washing clothes with your mom and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to be honest. Come on, come so closer so we can hear the conversation. Alita. Alita. Yeah, I'm yes. Alita, yes. We can hear you. Who are you talking to? <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell your person to come closer so we can hear what they're saying. We hear y'all talking about the ritual. The <laughs> Talking to Danny and she's missing the call. Oh, I thought you're on the call, Danny. <laughs> she said, Hi, hi, Danny. Danny. Hi, Danny. I'm going to the restroom. Y'all still sitting. We're we'll supposed to go to the restroom. I'm going to. We, 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 we <laughs> love you and we miss you, Danny. I miss y'all too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, what did Danny say? She said she misses us too. Yeah. And yeah. she'll be back soon. Yeah. Um I I know with with the clothes, one of the things that I detested and still detest it was the doggone laundry mat. Oh there were six of us children Ooh, and my mom. And she, I always had to go and I had to help watch the children, the four up under me. And I'd help to ha have to help mama to, you know, do the clothes, sort the clothes, fold the clothes and all of that. And then when I would go home, I, I just, I don't like, I don't like laundry to, to this day. Okay, okay. To this day, I, me and Lon, I, that was one of the first things Fane learned, learned how to do is to wash his own clothes, <laughs> you know, and, but there was something about that. I just don't, and, and, and going to the Salvation Army, oh my God, that to me was just that we are just so poor and, you know, I got to wear other people's clothes and. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So that yeah. was that was uh, 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 I love the Salvation Army. I love it. Uh, That's where you get the quality clothes now, because all this stuff made with one thread, one but a button with one thread, or holes in the stuff. I can't yeah. stand. It. I can't stand. Yeah, it. Right. I love it older. But you you got to get that as a as a kid yeah. and as a. You know, when your friends and stuff are getting things and, and your mama's taking you to the Salvation Army, that's that was not. But the, your friends didn't know that, did they? Did your friends know that? Or because you knew that you were like, I'm not going to get. I'm going to say, don't get deep on me. I'm a kid. 
No, <laughs> whether my friends knew it or not, yeah. it wasn't. Right, that didn't that, matter. I knew I was the fact that we had to go there and um and wear somebody else's clothes right. and all that kind of stuff. It was the sign of that reminding you that you were poor. That was what that represented to me. Right. And then the laundry mat, like I said, all the stuff and just just being there and having to, you know, um assist with stuff and then one day I remember um I had the ironing board up and my mom used to you know iron all the time she would I, it seemed like she ironed for other somebody else too as mm -hmm. well but so she, one day she comes in and I'm ironing clothes and she looks at me and she looks at my work and she says oh you do you do good you did this really good. Now you got a job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you became the iron the ironer. <laughs> no, Hold on, let a parent yeah. find a skill, boy. I'll tell you. They tell you. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Wow. I hate to iron. I don't iron. I iron when I make something, because that is, you know, when I make something, you iron as you go. That's yeah. something I was taught, Open up those, and that's those what I do. Yeah. Clean. But yeah. Other than that, after that, it don't get ironed. It goes in the dryer to, <laughs> with a little spritz on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rinse out. That's good. I hate. Yeah. I don't like ironing boards. They're always tipping over. And when I had, when Sheena was little, I had to go to. Um, tailoring school I had to pick a, a thing so I went oh. to tailor and his whole table was an ironing board and I love that so that's what I that's when I had over at the the family home that's what I had when I was doing a lot of sewing okay is I had a sewing table yeah you so gotta I have the big, the big like, cut on yeah. it and iron oh. on it all at the same time love so it. yeah yeah, I have a cousin. She ironed underwear. I was like, Yvonne, what are you doing? She ironed slips, panties. I'm like, oh, you doing? I think that's why I don't. Because my thing <laughs> is, my closet is, I'll, I'm aware of what doesn't have to be ironed. And then the other thing is, my mom said, if you take things out of the dryer as soon as they're done, before you get the, then go put and hang them up and you don't have to iron. Right. They said a piece yeah. of ice is great for the for the dryer. A piece of ice, because that's steam in the warm gas, hunty. I just read about that. I need to bring that. I'll have to bring that uh, link back up about dry uh, clothing hit hacks. But they said put yeah. a piece of ice in the dryer. Piece to get of ice in the dryer? Mm, a piece of ice, yep. Really? Yes, ma'am. Because oh. it's going to steam from the heat. Right, right. Oh, oh gosh. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's why I had a spray bottle of water. Spray yeah, there you go. Put it in there. Right. Put it in there and it. I yep, wrinkles gone. Yep, tricks wow. tricks to the trade. But that yeah, ironing. I, when I iron, I like to just iron a whole bunch of stuff because I would take my clothes to the pound cleaners. Because the cost comes when you get your things pressed, and they not even doing this. They got a little, pss, you know, they That's not even. Right. Doing this. So I would just bring my things home and just I would like to iron everything all at once and then hang it up. And so that's how I did my thing. But I, if I got to iron it, I'm not wearing it. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, I do well, my iron. I like to iron and I'll do a lot of stuff for that. But um, nope. uh -huh. Back to the laundromat. I like the laundromat because all at once, you get baby. all at once. That's what I like is all at once. Now that's that part. Yes. Definitely. Because yeah. if you had to do all six, those clothes at home, yeah, six kids and all day them. long. Right. Mm -hmm. But you're getting your little exercise on, running back and forth to the dry. <laughs> and then you got to, <laughs> okay. oh, stop calling me. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. So now let's go to the kitchen and learning how to cook. <laughs> that ritual. Did you have that ritual? You know, learning how to cut up. Okay, y'all, I know we got to go back. Let's go back to our former selves when we had to learn how to cut up that chicken. <laughs> My mother would get mad because I'm in the kitchen with the wings playing, having it dance, kicking up the chicken, pulling the wings out. She was like, what are you doing? I'm dancing. We dancing. I can't help it. So 
Okay. Yeah, and learning how to make gravy from scratch. Yeah. And no, Believe it or not, I learned more from my dad than my mom. Okay, so dad was, so your father was your was the cook. Was the teaching cook. My mother okay. can cook, but she, she ain't got that patience. She ain't had patience with me. Uh-uh. She can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my dad, he would take time. I was good at watching my mom, and then I would could go behind and do the mock, yeah, mimicking. Yeah, I was good, at, and she was good at pies. Ooh. Loved her lemon meringue pie. Oh my God. My dad did the five pound cake. Uh, he did the cakes. He did the pound cakes. Five Ooh, pound nice. Cakes. Yeah. Well, I so. had an aunt that cooked that bait. So I listen, whenever there was someone in the kitchen, I'm right there. Clean up, <laughs> clean up the cake, clean up the cake, uh, you know, clean up the bowls. Oh, yeah, everybody want the bowl. I'm the pre-wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you're sitting there waiting on and, and you're fighting over. I get the, I get the, what is the thing? The, the, uh, um, the, 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 the blender. mixer. The blender. Yeah. You're fighting over who's going to get that. Who's going to get the bowl. Who the gets spoon. the um, uh, spatula. Right. Everything. Because. Ooh, it's going to be. Yes. Yes. It's amazing how much we all do this stuff. <laughs> Man, somebody got to learn how to cook. Mm, I mean, yep. oh, 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 oh the, the ritual on the porch with snapping the big, the green beans. I did. Now that was a task, but I did like to do that. I like that I too. Love, and going outside and picking the pieces off the tree so we can put them in a jar with the sugar and put them up for a little while. I didn't do you that. Know. And didn't cooking do that. from scratch. It was more cooking from scratch than yeah, all this yeah. boxing. Bought already. Yeah, because I was just saying to Star the other day. I said <laughs> we are we need to make some homemade cornbread. That's Mama. We I mean we had cornbread almost every day. Cornmeal, so cornbread, corn. Yes, yes, yes. I can I can basically remember the uh, the recipe now. Yeah, we got to make some homemade cornbread. Homemade. I have a quinoa cornstar. cornbread recipe. And what was so cool about Mama? was every whenever our birthday would come around our birthday we could everybody had to eat what we liked we get to choose mm -hmm. and mom would make our meal based on what we love oh, okay. that's nice, nice. was green beans that's green beans mashed potatoes <laughs> and gravy <clears throat> come on with it cornbread and ham Okay. Ah. I loved ham. Uh, did I say I said the vegetables? The yeah, the starch. The I don't remember what my um. I like pies more than cake. okay. So, what did you do? Okay. Kool Aid. Kool Aid. <laughs> Kool -Aid. I'm a Kool Aid. What was your favorite? What was your favorite Kool Aid? Oh, let me see. Probably. I, I don't know. I like the blue one, the red. It was the raspberry. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like the I like the grape mix with lemonade and don't have no uh bay uh the the brown and serve rolls with the Ooh. lemonade Kool Aid went so good together. That was my that was my uh that yeah. was my couple. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, because mama mama would make she would make the lemonade. She would always mix stuff, you know. Right. And oh my god, it would just be so good. good. <clears throat> yeah maybe that's why i like mixed drinks uh-huh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. mama was the first mixologist right <laughs> right you know, we, we, don't want to we were credit for that pal <laughs> <laughs> i started my daughter to drinking because i'm <laughs> so good <laughs> she forgot it was kool-aid and that's why we are so special. We Kool Aid kid. Anybody else Kool Aid kid? Anybody else Kool Aid kid in the house? I can't yeah. stand Kool Aid. No, I wait a minute. I'm not talking about now, Mama. I'm talking about back in the day. You never messed with back it back in the day. I didn't like Kool Aid. It, I couldn't justify putting all that sugar with that little bit of you know. <laughs> you could control the sugar. You could control your, your the mom sugar. Didn't do it. My 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 cousin used to have, and I would drink it, but I was like, no, I can't. Mm. I never did it. I, 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 I okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I know one day I was down at uh, Eastern Market and they had, mm -hmm. um, uh, or, or anyway, some kind of festival and I needed something to drink. And I'm standing in line and I'm looking at the guy make the drink. And when he took that cup <laughs> and he put that sugar in there, like, and was, was that one of those lemonade <laughs> things that don't use no lemon? They yeah. use one lemon and country time. I'm like, that's not lemonade at all, y'all. So. I had to leave. I had to leave. I said, oh no, that that's nothing but sugar, straight up sugar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't be, don't have country time sitting there. If you're going to use the country time, you need to put it to the side. I don't want to see, country, you use one lemon and the rest of it's country time and that's crap. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Not, yes. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Who drank sugar water? Nobody. Sugar and water? Well, they sugar. used to give that, what, the Cairo syrup and water for babies a little bit. Yeah, My right, grandma. Right. My water. grandma would drink sugar water. Oh my goodness. Yes. That sounds terrible. Yes. <laughs> Did she yeah. like water by itself? That's probably yeah. Terrible. It wasn't often, but I do remember her drinking sugar water. No. Mm -mm. I remember yeah. that being a thing. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. What about butter? Okay, so then like on white bread with mm -hmm. a little sugar. Butter sandwiches. Oh yeah, I heard of them. I never did, okay. but I oh, heard of that's a donut. That's a the donut. Size, I did. <laughs> that is a donut. Toasted, put in the in the oven for a little bit. The syrup in the plate with the butter bread. Listen, wait, 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 uh, wait a minute. Uh, alga syrup and some homemade biscuits. Come on, oh with my me. god! Oh, oh my god! Yes. Sop them yes. up, sop them oh, up. Oh, have mercy. Right. That's good <laughs> That was the one thing my mama would make those homemade biscuits. Ooh. Oh, my, but Jesus. Mm. Biscuits, mm -hmm. they that call morning them. breakfast when she'd make um, the potatoes, onion uh -huh. with onions in it, and, and then oh, um, good. Um, bacon or whatever, sausage. I don't know which one she yeah. would have. Yeah. Or maybe both. But then she'd have the... Um, uh, some homemade biscuits and this sir. Oh, my brother loved rice. Oh, my older brother loved rice. Yes, we have a lot of rice as well in the morning for breakfast. Yes, that. yeah, yeah, rice and eggs, baby. I like it. Oh, yeah, and then them scrambled eggs. And she, put, and then we'd all be sitting at the table and stuff, you know, all six plus her seven. I was sitting there, and my mom liked to spread, do the spread. You know, make, set presentation. The, uh huh. Yeah, set the table. <laughs> He's a caterer. Mom's a caterer. <laughs> some good eating. Some good eating. Entertainer. Oh my goodness, that was some good <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah. And she would do her cooking on Saturday, like the Sabbath. They do it on Friday. To set. She would do her cooking on Saturday, so because we in church all day. Right. That's right. That's right. That's where my mom did her bonding. You're going to go to church. <laughs> church. church. Yeah. And if you spent the night, if we had friends spend the night, they going to church. church right. right. You right. want to eat dinner because mama is going to. They know that mama's going to cook for dinner. That's why they coming you over. They have gone to church. <laughs> right. Oh, what is that? What, trying That's to find a, a store open to get stockings. Because uh, you, you couldn't go bare legged to church. Oh, no, my mother right. wasn't a real big church goer, and neither was my dad at the time. Oh, no. No. Not but, going in there yeah. with no, with not no stockings on. Or you hang out, for, you hang out Saturday night, and then you gotta go get some stockings. <laughs> right. Or, or when you put your stockings on and they gotta run in them. Oh, oh yeah. Wait. Oh no. Bring my, out mother, my mother used to cut the bed. Okay, so you got the pantyhose, right? Yep. Yeah. My mother would cut the this part of the stocking off and make her a whole nother pair. I was like, "Mama, you go," because at first it was that one and that one. Stocking. Yes. Then yeah. you had the little pantyhose. And I didn't know pantyhose was the panty. And I was like, nope, I'm wearing my drawers with my <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't yes. like that either. <laughs> uh-uh. I need my cotton. I need my cotton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, so another ritual we probably didn't like was that cleanup ritual. You know, you're going to get those baseboards. 
Oh, Lord. oh yeah. spring spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Ah, I hated to see it come. Take all the curtains. Oh, we could, you either had to take hold on the drapery off the windows, take them to the cleaners, and you had to put each one of those the hooks, oh, hooks. back on. You got to do it right. You got to put it on the butterfly thing. You got to. Man, that was a task in the third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drapery mm -hmm. and cleaning the windows and. And getting the floors done, the baseboards, all the corners. Move everything out. Move everything. Mm. So all of yeah. these, all of these rituals, all of these learning. You didn't have to do, have to do that. No, I was the oldest. I was the oldest, so I had to get all that, that training. I, yeah, grandmother, aunt, and mom. This is it. Well, I was the only girl and the last one. So all of my brothers. Oh, see, see, you a baby. You didn't have to do nothing, Mama Evan. You ain't to do nothing. I got another word. <laughs> I, you didn't have to do nothing. Spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't yeah. mad at you. <laughs> I realized that my, my sister-in-law, my brother's second wife and I are the, about the same age because he's he the baby boy is 14 years older than me. Was okay. Years. Yeah, and they're all deceased now, but... Yeah, I had three brothers and two of them I was really close to. The oldest one, I think I saw maybe maybe four or five times in my life, but I always talked to him on the phone. Mm -hmm. so, oh, but he was always looking for his daddy, who was mm -hmm. a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my papa yeah. was a rolling stone. So was mine. My father was an army per I mean an Air Force person. So I got that, you know, I got that kind of training. You're gonna make these beds and get these corners. My mother was like, these don't make those kids make the bed. So, you know, keep the door closed. That's my space. My mother didn't we that, I had that kind of thing going on in the house. They didn't fight about it, but dad said when you make the bed, he taught us how to make it. So I do know how I, I can make a mean corner now. I can make a mean okay, corner. Okay. Yeah, uh, my mother was like, "Girl, you don't be by y'all. Don't, don't make them do all of that. You know that's servicey stuff. But you still need to learn. You know that's true. That's true. So, but they were saying that it's better to leave your bed, oh, you know, put covers pulled back because you want the sun to take care of those microscopic uh, bugs that are, you know. Because remember when we did our our um, show with the lady about the makeup, not the makeup, but her home, her." Her care, her facial care products. Right. And she said, I remember that, that. Mites, you know, that are on our face. So we should wash, we need to wash your face first thing in the morning, at least, you know, mm -hmm. to get that overnight off. But they were saying, let that stuff sit in the sun. So I just made a spray bottle of clean, you know, of stuff, stuff effervescence, you know, to just spray the bed down and alcohol to spray the bed down before I. It just looks nice it's nice to come home to the room my mom and dad that that was the clash of the pisces same day same same day same month same year my parents were twins i, I got twins for parents oh okay. goodness well, three, wow. four, no three four forty three is their birthday yeah wow <clears throat> yes. and how long were they together um i think 90 they were together from i was born in 65 64 to 92 two somewhere in there yeah 60 you do the math 62 <laughs> they to I, well i know your mom is mom, not. my mom is my spiritual uh connected now and my dad is still with us uh-huh yeah. uh -huh. okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we can move into some uh, i mean did anybody else have anything to share you know a part of the ritual of family you know so oh yeah, I remember this year, um, you know, with my mom, her mother lives lived in Mississippi. So we would go down there every, every, I mean, for all my life, we would go down to Mississippi every summer for the fourth of July fourth of July. Because that's when my uncles would be off of Ford and they would have a vacation those two weeks, and we was going down south. So, um, but my mom was with me and I mean, it was just a great ritual because I knew I would spend, get to spend time with her during that time, you know, with her sisters and her mother and it was just good, just traveling, learning how 
you know, they used to do a way back when we would have a box of chicken. She would fry chicken the night before and put it in a box and we would take it down. Even though we could stop, we always had our little box of chicken and bread and all that. So, right. Yeah, we didn't too much go. My mother would say, they don't be stopping in these little diners and crap. You go to, Mc, you know, that's why we did go to McDonald's or have the food cooked because you don't need to be going too many places because people will mess with your food. You go to McDonald's, they make, they make it the same way, you know, that kind of thing. The green, the green, my, what is it called? The green book? No. Green, green, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green, where green you knew book. where to stop yeah. and it was okay, you know. So yes. my father, and sometimes my father was like, I'm not stopping. Save that McDonald's cup because that's the toilet. Okay. <laughs> right, 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 right. Don't get it next to the car. Put your arm all the way out there. That's the only time you could stick your arm out the window. Don't get it on the car. Put it on the Because <laughs> we had to be careful because we are, you know, we're traveling right. African Americans. You don't know who, what, when, why, and where. Because we went mm -hmm. to Gary, Indiana every year to spend. We took, because my father worked at a plant, we spent two weeks on vacation. So right. we travel, that's when we would travel. When the, when the plant was shut down. It's vacation time. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, those family trips. Now, were you you were in a car, so that was car riding. I I love the road. Yes, love it was the road, road trip. Road. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my cousins down there would look forward to us coming every year. So I got to know them. You know, mm -hmm. so it was very good ritual to do that every year. You know, because I got used to being down south, and I learned a lot about the south. To the point I want to actually live down there, you know, to be uh -huh. somewhere different, you know. It was nice. Anybody else? Car trips, family? Yeah. So I want to ask um, from your ancestors, what are the rituals that m reminds you of them? For instance, um, when when there's a cabinet open in i mean open in my kitchen uh-huh uncle alby is who i was here because she's he say close that cabinet get back in there and close that cabinet so whenever i go in there, i said i hear you uncle uncle alby i hear you i hear you i hear uh -huh. you certain uh -huh. things that and so mama mama would when I would open a can and I hear her every time I open a can of something and she would always say, wash the, wash it because right. in case it falls into the thing, wash it. And I don't know why it irritated me, but she would say, wash it. And then when you empty everything out of it, rinse it out, rinse the can. Yeah, out yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so every time, I mean, every time, every time that cabinet is left over, I hear Uncle Alvy. And then when I'm doing the can, I have to hear mama. Uh -huh. And mama, oh, oh. <laughs> I would, when we'd be in the bathroom and I had to pee and she'd stand there and she'd say, you're not drinking enough water. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, you just know everything. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, when I think about my grandma, you know, I remember she was the one whenever anything was happening to our bodies, as we, if we have sores, cuts, or aches, Go to grandma. She knew what to give you. She yeah. had everything in her little cabinet by the bed. And she helped you out with whatever you was dealing with. And it's interesting because I feel that I'm, you know, now that my mom, mom has transitioned, I'm kind of filling in that spot too. You know, with my, my children, you know, they come to me with all the ailments, everything. So I have to know, you know, I, you know, I want to know anyway. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. But I try to find out. You the root woman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> go out there in the backyard and go get some of that. Da, da, da. Right. I love it. So yeah, my father, my dad, he's still here with us, but he was about those cans. He's like, you don't know what's walking and running up. So when they talked about that for, you know, when the pandemic came, I was like, baby, I already washed everything. When I bring my stuff in from the everything, get a bath. I'm washing the cheese, the meat, the lunch meat, all of that. I'm washing every bag, every et, wiping down the bread, all of it. Okay, I don't play no game because I hear my father every time I open the gate. Make sure you, it's like he would just pop up in the kitchen when he know him. 
He hear the cat in the door, but he like, where's the cat? So it's, it had, and even drinking pop, because they said that feces might be on there. That's how one woman got stuff. Like, yeah. Anyway, I I don't have no problem. We got to wash everything else. So. Yeah. Yeah. And um, what was another one? There was another one that I wanted to talk about. The cans. Oh, my goodness. There was another one. I can't think of it right now. But, yeah, so many. Oh, yeah, with uh, with uncles or the, remembering people. Let me see. What's... I still get, like, my mother, you know, when I'm getting ready to make a decision, my mother, you know, she right there. Mm -hmm. I, right. Still, I still hear her saying, da -da -da -da, you know, you know, you, da -da -da -da, you know, whatever it is. I, you know, you, da -da 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 -da. so she's very still much uh, very <laughs> present with, mm -hmm. the, yes. her, with, her, mm -hmm. with her isms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right. That's a blessing. Yeah. Hold your hold your bosom when you're going up and down the stairs. That was one. You know, don't let you don't let yourself just bounce all over. You tearing your, <laughs> your tendon, you tearing your tendons and things. Hold yourself when you go up and down the stairs. Well, you know, I didn't I didn't have that problem at all. I had to bend over so that they could move or something. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about putting your your money in your bra? Well, mine would just fall through. So right, there you go. <laughs> but, I'm sorry, I've had them. I've had them since third grade. So you know, that's the wallet. That, reach down. When, they, when Erica Badu say reach down in my purse, I think that's what she's talking about. Not in the purse, purse. She talking about reach down in my purse. In my purse. Oh in yeah, my purse. if you're singing it, it's got to be that. Because <laughs> then, in other words, it was pocket in my pocketbook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thinking of, you know just thinking about i was just thinking about the ways your parents are whoever celebrated i remember mama see my mama was a church girl she loved going to church okay and okay okay alita see you yeah um, love you too love you too and um i remember mama and my aunt doris and my aunt yeah, Aunt Doris and I, I think it was Aunt, um, Aunt um, uh, Florence. They was, they was listening to my mama as a church girl. They had Tom Jones on, me and Mrs. Jones. Mm. And <laughs> they were just in there just partying. And my seeing my mama, my mama didn't party and stuff like that, you know. And they were just all in it. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. And they was just partying. Just the mm. three the women, you know, like like on uh, Hidden Figures when they right. when they just get together. Oh, come on, come on, let's dance. That was that was something else. I used to love to watch the, the teenagers, you know, my cousin and them. I was too young and I would, but I was young. I was old enough to be sitting on the steps and watching the party, you know. Right, the right, party. right. I just thought that they were just the world because they were older and I couldn't wait till I got old enough to go to the parties and stuff, you know. Um, memories. Yeah. yeah. Memories, yes, yeah. Yeah, I used to like it when, uh, when, I, was, when I was younger, when they would have, they would get together and, and play cards and and talk stuff and and it was just fun and the music is playing and it was just fun to watch them do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes and if they had a little drink you know i would Bye. sneak in and <laughs> oh pam <laughs> yeah, it was good to see people having a good time yeah. you know whatever yeah. yeah it was it was i didn't realize that so I'm I'm married to a DJ. And then as I thought about it, I was like, wow, my dad was my first DJ because we would always go to Simpsons Records. My dad, whatever was on the top, the, the list, we had the 45 or the uh, album. My dad did not play. So whenever we had basement parties, everybody like, can we use your dad? They never asked him. They made us ask him. <laughs> I, you know, if I wasn't in good standing, you going to need to ask. Right, right, right. <laughs> but I remember having Mom's Mabley's album. Oh, yes. And I remember uh, Millie Jackson. And they would put those records in a special place because you're not. I know, right. And as soon as they, you know, when we got old enough to take care of ourselves, as soon as they went out, 
Okay, listen. When you get the record out, you got to remember where it was and how it was. Mm-hmm. Let me put it back. <laughs> when we listening to Mary, Willie Jackson. It was, damn it, I had to say, I love that song. And then Mom's Maybelline, because she was something else. I, I realized Carol Burnett copied her. I thought about yeah, her. Of course. Uh-huh. We were but always copying. Carol Burnett, but I love Carol Burnett. Right, right. But I love no, Carol Burnett, because she's a tourist. But listen, I love me some Mom's Maybelline, okay? Those records, but yeah, the record that was, and that was like another ritual with us. We would, that was a ritual for our family. Dad, my dad, my sister, my sister's nine years younger, so she wasn't here yet. So my brother and I and my father, we would always get together and go to Simpsons Records on Conant and go to the record store. That was our ritual. But my dad kept the updated sounds. He was, he was the DJ, and we had a record player, little forty-five things. Yeah, a little disc. Yeah, that was high technology back in the day. And the record (laughs) player. What about the record player? Did you have a record player? Oh yes, oh yes. Phonograph? No, not the phonograph, but the one you know, the one that was furnished. You had to lift the top up and get that. It was real big. Uh huh. And you open up this side and open up that side. That's where your albums were down there. Yes, Mm -hmm. honey. That That was where the record player and and all that stuff was there. It took up almost a whole wall. It did. It was big as the buffet. Man, who was the barbecue king uh, person in your family? Who who did my my granddaddy? We we always cook the day before because we're not doing no work on the on the day of. It's gonna you cook. (laughs) Aunt Charlotte making her peach cow homemade peach cobbler. I'm telling my great grandfather, he would get up in the middle of the night cooking. I was up. Okay, it's time to get up because granddad. I know granddad gonna eat. He would make dumplings. So yes, he made his own sauce. We had the vin- the bottle with the vinegar with the top on it with the vinegar in there to put out the fire and keep seasoning the meat. But mm-hmm. um, it was the grand it was the great granddaddy baby, Elijah. Yes, mm-hmm. ah. it was my dad, mm-hmm. and he would yeah he would get up really early, really uh-huh. early. Crack of dawn. It wasn't even light outside yet. Mm-hmm. So did Marinate. you did you have the boil? Did you all do the boil or the oven first and then put them on the grill? What was their technique or to marinate overnight? What was what was the technique? I'm writing down. Look, let me write it down. It would, he would. Hmm. He was. She was. See, Mama would season them up real good, and then he had this concoction of of um mustard and lemons that he would cook up mm-hmm. and then that's what he basted them with all the while they were cooking mm. and then they with put the brush, them in the, the oven brush? with the sauce mm-hmm. yeah with and the, then they would the put them wrapped the around the spoon yes <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes 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 and then after they were done they put them in the oven with the sauce and they'd be falling off the bone mm-hmm. that's when i was in the pork Mm. Yeah. I tell you, I miss my ham. I loved ham. I loved ham. And I probably would still love it if I was still eating it. But when I, I started that process of weaning myself off of food, mm. off of the meat and stuff, mm-hmm. oh, that was hard with the ham. Yeah. But that ham, oh my God, if you made it right, mm-mm, it was so You didn't need no other seasoning because it was salty enough. It'd take care of yeah. everything on the plate. And my mama, my mama could make some ham and she could kill some dressing, boy. It would be so delicious. Dun, dun, dun. Mac and cheese. She had, mama could cook. I'll tell you, mama could cook. And then after Thanksgiving, mama would take whatever the, the chick, the turkey that was left, and she made this, this breakfast. It was that she chopped them up into little squares <coughs> and this sauce and she'd put it in there and then she'd make the toast or the or oh the, yeah the, oh the yeah toast, oh yes toast oh. Or, or the biscuits and you just pour that sauce on to, oh, oh wow that was yeah. so good so good mm, 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 mm. i mean i could taste every <laughs> i could taste everything and then she can make a, a, a pineapple upside down cake and make you slap your mama. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. My goodness. yeah. You're supposed to slap the cook. You supposed to <laughs> don't, get, <laughs> don't get knocked out though. But you gotta <laughs> gently with a little sting, pow, right yeah. on the fanny. Look at here. 
Come here and let me touch you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm like, well, macaroni and cheese. A lot of people, some people make macaroni and cheese and it's just riding on the top. See, my mama's macaroni and cheese and cheese all in betwixt and between, all in the holes of the noodles and all like this. No, no clumps and stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh, she, she did a special little nice thing. She grated that cheese and get it and mix it up. Yes, yes. With an egg or two. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't eat really too much macaroni and cheese now, but my daughter kept, Thank you. kept Thank you. trying it. She kept trying it until she perfected it the last time. She perfect, and I kept saying, "You don't need a whole lot of cheese because it's just you and our Jade is going to eat it, right?" Mostly. So you don't have. I mean, yeah, cheese will lock you up. Time. You got to be careful. But you, you know, I've had the macaroni. I call it macaroni and chess. Now the vegan macaroni. Mama Aisha made, boy, I almost hurt her. I was like, I, I could be vegan with some macaroni and chase. I don't know. Oh, nutritional yeast. Yeah. And I forgot, I forgot the other stuff, but baby. Now I'm okay with the, I'm all okay with the vegan. Um, um, cashews. Cashews. Uh, okay. Cashews. I've made that. It's very good. You want, so. you want to make some so I can taste it, so I can see why so we can it. we can come over your house. <laughs> we need a potluck. We need a potluck outdoor when it's nice outside. We need a potluck outdoor. Okay. Some kind of something. Some kind of something. 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 A screened in gazebo. We need a screened in gazebo. <laughs> so this, we can still be outside without the bugs, because you know that's when the the wasps come because they want to eat too. They like I heard y'all. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Does anybody oh, eat does. liver and onions? Mm, no, no. Yeah, when I was younger, I, I, mama, I, I said I couldn't. When I was, yeah, when I, like I was younger, what, I don't anymore. Liver would break up like dentine gum when you chewed it too long. It would just break up. It would just break up like that. I couldn't. I didn't understand it. I didn't. I, <laughs> <laughs> My mother, she I did it. Know. She did it very well. It was so nice, and because I don't eat like steak and roast and all of that, right? Because it's usually. It, if I got to work too hard to eat it, yes, I don't want it. But my mom, mm. it was just so tender. It was so perfect. The, the liver, the onions, and the gravy. It was just. Mm, mm, mm. I did like it. I like to see it, but I wasn't. Yeah, my that was a mental mouth thing for me. I I don't know. I didn't understand. <laughs> I couldn't picture it. It was too hard to picture. Oh my goodness. Well, when my dad was alive, as, as I transitioned, because he was a diabetic, and mm -hmm. as I transitioned with the recipes, trying to make them more palatable for him, uh -huh. um, I started making chocolate pecan pie. Chocolate pecan. I'm going to put that on your list. Chocolate. <laughs> I think I held on to the recipe. I just, it was... A, it was so good, but I was using like uh, coconut. What was it? I was trying to use? I was using a different syrup. I wasn't using the Cairo syrup. I was using something that's in a really good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you I said a like pie, chocolate pecan pie. Mm -hmm. mm. That sounds good. I'm putting that on your list, <laughs> Mama Evelyn's list. <laughs> and i told sheila when i was pregnant with her i said i would wake up at two o'clock in the morning and make two pork fried pork chop sandwiches uh -huh. and a big plate of fries that's what i was craving uh-huh so when she was pregnant she said mom would you make me i said oh no i don't cook pork i'm sorry i can't do that <laughs> You got to put in the, uh, what you call that? What's the name? But because it's really funny when you're, but when you're with child, the body will crave. It don't care what you eat and not eating. We're going to eat today. We're going to eat this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Isis is made up of pancakes and Baba Sabri. She, I would go to him for his wheat nutty pancakes. And I remember when she was little, she was crawling, but she wasn't talking yet. She came in the dining room or living room and she pulled, she tugged on my pants and she crawled into the kitchen and pointed to a cabinet. And when I opened the door, I was like, you're communicating, but it was the pancake cabinet. She, honey, she, <laughs> she got her point across very well. I was like, okay, that means she want pancakes, but it, she still loves them to this day. And I was like, she was made of pancakes and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> oh, wow. What were you made of? Yes, this yes. was just a really beautiful 
walk down memory lane and you know we and going back to the hair we've moved away from wearing grease in our hair so when i when i had when i was wearing a little bit of hair and going back into my locks i started i went back to the ultra sheen cosmet uh, co uh oil grease mm. and it seemed to grow my hair well because now we want our hair all light and fluffy and light and airy you know with the coconut oil but that stuff not doing nothing that grease is the truth i i had to go back to it I think I bought every one. I would get the blue one, then the green. <laughs> then... <laughs> right, right, you know, right. But, you know, we need, you know, a good oiled scalp, you know. Some people, not everybody. Mm. So I said, well, I make my little concoction of uh, grapeseed oil, and I'll put, some, uh, I'll put some castor oil in there and a little olive oil and that... Um, that Jamaican castor oil that smell good. Ooh, like you that. Want, that stuff make you want to eat it. When I my girlfriend brought me some of that, I almost drank it. I swear I was gonna drink that. Oh my god, <laughs> it smells so good. But I make my little oh concoction, my and that's that's what I put in my hair and my body and yeah. my face and yeah, because all of. Uh -huh, and I like an overall everywhere. Give me something I can use on everything. That's but castor oil is really good for hair. They said it'll grow it back, and then you can get rid of moles with castor oil. Y'all need to look it up. That castor oil is the truth. Right. My oil, her base, her carrier oil is castor oil. That's what she uses in her, in her oil. Oh, mm. good. Will it get rid of skin tags? I know. I, I just it's the moles. The mo Yeah. Okay. So read about it first. But they said castor oil will take care of it. They take care of those. Those. I've things. heard that too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, our our mm. our medicine cabinet is the kitchen. That's right. That's right. That's right. I like that. Thanks for sharing that. That's right. Because you have these things, right? And that's what that's what being a consumer is about. It's about not, you know, going to get again and again and again and again. Because one time I got mad. I said, "Why am I buying a mop? I had a I had a towel that I was in love with because it was just the right thirst." And it dried me off and not left that water, you know, these fake towels. So I cut it up and I made my own mop. And then I oh. had my dust rag, so I cut it up because I was like, I'm not getting rid of this towel. So I put a zip tie around it on a, I had a broken uh, mop. Pole. Yeah, thank you. And so I took a zip tie and zip tied it to the bottom and made my own mop. Wow. I said, cool. we keep buying stuff and we got everything we need. And you know, for me, mopping, the best way to do it is get on them hands and knees because don't nothing clean better than the hands and knees because the mop, you putting the thing back in the dirty water. Same thing with washing clothes. It's better to hand wash. Yeah. When COVID hit, I was washing my underwear in my hand. I was like, I'm not wearing a whole bunch of stuff, so I would wash those underwear out and hang them to dry. We doing too much. It, it, <laughs> we're less we do it because a lot of our our lot of our exercise came from using, you know, the mop. You know, you're, yeah. you're you know, that's true. Second, you know, and now we're not doing it. We got the thing running around the house and the cats and dogs riding on it. On the little <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. We're interactive anymore. Right. We're not, act we're not active anymore. And I'm just, that just bothers me. You know, you want to go get a new dress. You got five new dresses in the closet that you looking for already. We just consume, 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 consume. Is, is anybody using the old cedar uh, mop bucket? I don't have one of those. That would be nice. That's that smell alone. alone. I haven't gotten one yet, but I want one. It's the one where you got the two chambers. The dirty water goes in one oh. chamber. And the cool water is in another chamber. And your mop never goes in the dirty water. Okay, Mama, uh, Juanita, you're going to have to, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to find that. I got a two-chamber cedar mop bucket. Old, old cedar, old-fashioned, old cedar. Remember the old, old cedar products, old cedar, old apostrophe cedar. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Nope, that was that was probably before my little, my little time here, but I'm going to look it up with the double. Uh -huh. Double chamber, yep, double dirty chamber. water and clean water. Yeah. 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 So I'm trying to think of anything else, like great stuff. Wow. Yeah. I I think we did well talking about you know just all these rituals we do. I love this. This was wonderful. Oh, one more. I forgot. 
is when my daughter started, well, when I found out she had started her cycle, because it started before she let me know. But anyway, oh, cycle so times. we did a bonfire outside, and it was so funny, because in the beginning, you know, we were out there making, and then it started raining, so I just said, well, we'll go in the house, and we just watched it from, but we just talked about, you know, because it was funny, because I talked to my mother in love and my mom, and they said that when they started their cycle, their mom was like, here go your supplies. <laughs> and that was it you know and I'm like wait a minute now when I had a daughter it's so funny because when I told my friend I was pregnant she was like girl you having a girl well baby anyway she was like you'll never go to the bathroom again by yourself and so that happened so Isis has been with me through journeys and so you know so I would explain to her what's going on and what not and I wasn't pressuring her to because I didn't want the potty training to be a traumatic experience so I was like, since you in here, you can have a seat too. So I let her, her potty chair was her seat before it was her potty chair, right? So, mm -hmm. but she's in there with, with me with different experiences. So, you know, I would explain things to her, you know, and let her know what's going on. But I wanted her to embrace instead of having, uh, having a horrible experience. And one, yeah. of, one day I was talking to her friend and her friend called her psycho, her coworker. I was like, that's that's nice i was like i wish i could have thought of it like that for me you know because i would have cramps and then i would meet women online that would have really bad cramps and i told them i said what's your relationship like with your mom and a couple of them was like it's horrible i said fix that and those cramps will go away and they did wow that's because it was that type of pain but i don't have them and eventually now my grandmother used to give me a Spoonful of some liquor and some hot water, baby. Put you to sleep. You don't have to do it with Because you know, liquor thins the blood, right? Yeah. So that's what my grandmother's fix was. Because I was using, my sister helped, told me to use Anaprox, which was bad. Because the Anaprox thinned the skin and then I developed eczema. But then I did the lemon cleanse and that cleaned that out. I was good, but I stopped taking that stuff. But um, Don Qua. Or just something I would when I was at school I could know it couldn't give the children any pills or anything because you know most people would take a aspirin or whatever I told them I said baby get some hot water y'all bring bring a tea bag you know when your cycle is coming write that down I'm not talking about do that online stuff you don't need no apps use your mind <laughs> go online I mean go right. get your calendar and look your three weeks or four weeks because one thing about me I cycled every 21 days it wasn't 28 days for me mm. Cause I'm from a different planet. I told y'all, <laughs> but, um, that was something that, um, you know, I had to learn about. And even when I started having sex, my mother taught me the rhythm method, which if you, if you write the things down, I didn't have, no, I didn't have no oopsie doopsies. I, I, I ain't saying I didn't do anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, rhythm works. Good. Good. Rhythm works. Um, but you got to keep that overnight experience in mind. Oh, my God. That's how um, I think it was my second daughter. My second and my fourth daughter slipped in both Tauruses because I forgot that after, and both of them, after, um, no one was a before church baby and the other one was an after church baby. And I forgot that. Before day, church and after church. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot the day was the day after the day I was counting. So like uh -huh. when we got home from church, you know, what happened overnight, it was out of the cycle, out of the rhythm cycle. And I'm still ah. thinking it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, love my, my Taurus. I'm a Taurus too, Mama Juanita. I'm a Taurus. Two Tauruses. I just washed my hair, y'all. Got the nerve to come off from camera. Look at that. Look at, Look at the loving on the scalp. Let's do that. Touch your own head. And yes, it, and it felt so good. It felt so good. Um, yes. But, um, yeah, rhythm works. I just hit the time. This is so rich. This is so special. Thank you for bringing us to us. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah, I think... <laughs> With that, we can move into this body, you know, and when we are pregnancies and those experiences. That might be another session. I think Mama Razia has a friend who's a doctor 
who she's going to ask to come and share so we can have that discussion because that one is something beautiful as well. My Queen of Dooney, what were you saying? I have tried to talk and I didn't realize it was school. Uh, it was that I was on mute all this time. I'm like, they don't hear me. They don't hear me. They don't hear me. Uh, no, I, I looked up the castor oil. I did not know one of the things because it breaks it down what each of the, the uh, uh, elements are or properties are and mm -hmm. stuff. But down here, it says that castor oil can positively impact hair by stimulating circulation to boost its growth and by locking in moisture with this uh, humet humet humetric pro properties. With this antifungal properties, castor oil can mm. treat scalp infections by eliminating the bacteria and microorganisms that can cause hair loss, dandruff, and infection. Mm. Mm. So the appearance of grain cast hairs Castor oil can be applied to the scalp to prevent hair from the further loss of pigment. With humectant uh, properties that lock in moisture, mm -hmm. castor oil can treat dry and damaged hair, making it thicker, shinier, softer, and smoother. Oh, oh my nice. good Jesus. Come on with it, castor oil. Castor and you know what is so funny? Joke. When I would mention castor oil, People go, oh my gosh, you know, especially my elders. I said, listen, I didn't tell you nothing about putting it in your mouth. I said, use it because castor oil also heals bones and organs. Mm. I smashed my finger in a security door and I read that one woman said that her son was playing baseball and he broke his arm and the doctor told him, you're not going to finish out the year. She got that castor. She said she keeps it in her first aid kit. She wrapped that baby up in that cast oil and he was able to get back and finish the, the season out mm -hmm. after his, his, broke, his break healed. So um, what they say is they recommend you use a flannel cloth, but I just tell people old t-shirts or even um, socks or things like that. That's what I had on the other day because I had a um, Oh, that's a, right. A bite, but Put the castor oil on a sock or something. You need to put it in plastic so it won't damp, uh, stain your bed. But it, but do it at night. If you're having stomach issues, wrap that castor oil around your tummy with some cloth or old t-shirt and put it on at night. A foot, Haru broke his meniscus. We wrapped him in that. I'm telling you, that stuff, will, it, listen, we do, we do too much. Waiting. Go get it diagnosed, of course. But also wrap that. When people break things, I tell them, put that cast oil on after you get done, so it because it heals bones and organs. Now that now that's in the that's in the text. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Or yeah, see, I'm trying to figure out how not to mess up the mess up the bed. Yeah, put plastic on. Plastic. Put it in plastic. Little ugly but grocery store bags. And it's good for your little heels and your little feet too. <laughs> I got hooves every once in a while, so I have to <laughs> soften up. And <laughs> I'm a barefoot cookie and I'm dry, dry. <laughs> right. Oh, thanks. Oh, my goodness, girl. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, you know, we are coming up on the hour, um, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Um, is there, are there any announcements that anyone want to share at this time? Well, yeah, silver and gold. Somebody has an announcement. Queen Dewey, put our little, can you put up our, your, your beautiful flyer? I like your flyer. Uh, which one? But for, for the Thanksgiving program that we're having. Oh, that one. Okay, well, let me do this one right here, right here, right there, right here. Right here, right here, right here. I want to know what what music you played at the beginning. Can we have that? Know that? Know what that is? Yes. So this oh, is what's happening. Oh, Scott Covington, Lord have mercy. <laughs> and the Satin Doll Girls. Mm -mm. Oh Lord. Oh, and this is Shelly K right here. Shelly Shelly. K is going to come on today. And I forgot that um, Sky, I didn't see where Sky had responded. 
Okay. So she will be here tomorrow. I mean, Friday with the, the satin girls, but yeah. she got to come on at a whole nother time. I told her because she has a whole story yeah. by herself. Uh, well, all of them do, but Shelly, oh Lord, her and her life has been so full, uh, indescribable, you know, and what she has gone through. And it's like, I'm still here. I'm wow, still look here. at that cane. I'm I'm really impressed. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, she's a vocalist. Yeah, she's a, yeah, all these all these sisters right here can sing their asses off. I mean, okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. And her show is exciting. So Sky has been on a couple of times and um, she let me know her husband had uh, changed shifts. So she got to do morning things with him to get him off to work and stuff. Okay. But she pops in whenever she can. But yeah, th that's going to be a really interesting uh, show because I know these sisters and it's going to be on and popping. Oh, right. so, so all of them will be here? On yeah, well, she hasn't secured each one of them, but it that's the intent that they would all be here. Seven dollars will be represented. Seven dollars, we get to yeah. So she's excited and stuff, you know. That I sounds like great. Flyer. I like this flyer. Hold on. Who so did Vitra, it? How did you like working with the on Canva, girl? You know, it was nice. You know, yeah. um. I, I really want to give kudos to Dr. Nicole because she stepped in and helped me to understand how to make it work. So yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's very yeah. user friendly. Yeah. It's not hard. No, it's not at all. Cut and paste. Yep. Save and drop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Slide and move. Open and close, you know, basic things. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. What is this? This is this is for our show. Oh. And uh November the 27th, Sunday from 4 to 8 30. And um uh, these all the people so far that are performing, this is pretty much what it is. Danielle belly dancing, mama head. African dancing and man, my husband is uh I told him he's gonna um when he picks the songs he's gonna uh, send them to you all so y'all you can make those discussions the sister that's going to, um uh, what is her name Takesha yeah she's gonna be there um there's gonna be a show for from um goddess mm -hmm. uh-huh and at peace is performing and lolly is performing and me and my husband are performing Yay. what and is the cost it's 30 dollars. okay and uh we the vending is going to be um more so artists like you know artists like like artists selling okay we're gonna, we're gonna make a gallery out of the other side and um yeah, we're going to have some food and it's going to be one hot tamale show, I'm telling you. And so if you want to help, we're asking to you people to come become um, 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 affiliates. And affiliates is, so if you sell tickets, help sell tickets to uh, the events, then in, like in this particular one, we divide the 30 into three parts. So one, so 30, um, so out of $10, I mean, $30, $10 goes towards the expenses of the event. $10 goes towards LEAP because we're raising money to buy the building for the community. And then $10 goes towards whoever sells the tickets. And um, for, for us, if you, it's a minimum of 10 tickets, in order to get blessed like that. Okay. Otherwise, okay. the affiliate program is a minimum of 20 tickets. So if you sell 50, that's my goal. I Because I'm going to California, right, for Nawili's birthday. So that 50 tickets reaps me $500. That's going to be my play money when I go to California. <laughs> so I've already sold four. 
and oh, it's good. not even October. So um, I'm determined. My husband and I will be, you know, showcasing all of this is original. All of this. Mm -hmm. We're not doing no cover tunes or nothing like this. This is okay. us. All so right. that's what's so special. The dancers, we're not choreographing or, you know, every little step has to be together. No, these sisters, because that's what they can do and that's what they do, are dancing freestyle to the music. And, and we got percussion and the band is like, second to none so I know that we're going to have it's going to be out of sight we got um the, these are the three uh chefs that I want one is Mama Razia one is this brother named Buddha who makes like the best soups um and ve vegan vegan soups and then um Nawili's niece makes like the best tacos and whatever else she makes. But those are our three chefs. And um, it's just, gonna, I'm telling y'all, it's a, and it's the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So it's going to be off the chain. I get excited um, just when I, I've received Lolly songs and my husband has received uh, at pieces songs. And, and then when we get to that part where we start rehearsing, <laughs> Who else wanted to, somebody wanted to say something? Yeah, I was just wondering how much is the vendor space? Uh, the vendor for you would be $50. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's um, $75 for the artist. But if you sold 10 tickets, you got your, is that, if you sold 10 tickets, yeah, you got $100. So you got your money back. No out of pocket, right? No out of pocket. And the sweet thing is that you know, if you don't know, I'm telling you, this is a kick-ass show. Yeah. It, it is looks a kick-ass show. I'm telling you. So you want to, this is one you want your friends and your family that came from out of town <coughs> to spend Thanksgiving with you. They're going to be here that Sunday. This is where you want them to be. <laughs> And it's heavy in networking and just networking holiday gala is, you know, and it sounds it great. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yep. Elizabeth will, we will be represented because you see that every one of these sisters on here, you don't know, you don't know um, her, but she's definitely an Elizabeth. I just haven't talked to her yet to come on. This is a sister who do not has never hit her children. She doesn't believe in disciplining by violence. No matter what we call it, it is violence. Whether yes. we're in yeah. love, it is violence. And um, yeah. um, so that's that's her game in life is to is that message. And how can you do it? How can you still guide your children without having to hit them and stuff? You know, so that's a conversation that's going to be very interesting, especially for those who believe, you know, you you don't hit the kid, you spoil them. No, it's a communication deficit, which I'm guilty of. You know, when you don't know what else to say, or you can't get your point across, then you hit. And that just means we can't get our point across. Mm. That's really what it is. We can't get our point across, so we beat them. <laughs> oh, 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 me. oh, and the play. How can we get the play? Where's Mama Het? <laughs> Mama Het. Hello. The play. We ladies, we're gonna do a play. And um, oh, the so vagina said, monologue. The vagina. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, you know what? I just need to pull it up. No, it. I I have it, but I have it the script itself. I didn't. It's not on the email. So now, usually for Eve Ensler, she she really appreciates people doing the play and everything. She asked that we do it in February, which is the awareness month. But um, you know, but we could practice. I don't know. Anyway, we can uh, practice and then have it ready. We can do it whenever. We can call a different February. We can have February whenever we want to have February. What's special about February? I don't know. I think it's, it's like, awareness. Like Black History Month. 
something right um something to do with i'll look it up because it's on her website okay yeah. But that's how I fashion and Thank her you for that. I love that. <laughs> her play, her she also has one about menopause too. So I think we should look at that one because we're in all areas, aren't we? Right. She and I saw the vagina monologues. We saw it. Yeah, yeah my yeah, sister definitely. performed it. It's absolutely charming. But what's, um, what's her name? Eve Ensler, the oh, my sister or the lady who created it? Creator. Eve Ensler. Evie. You, if you put it in vagina monologues, it'll come up. But Eve Ensler. Okay, but, um, family. I'm going to need to um, leave it this okay. time. All right. Yep. Love you, teacher. Thank you so much. Love you, teacher. Love you, teacher. Love, you, okay. Love you, guys. Love and bless you. So, so the play, I fashioned some questions. I was speaking, you know, when Sister Claudette was in and I was saying that I created a document, um, a questionnaire for women. Of color because you know I wanted to that's the that's the area I'm interested in yeah. and um, fashion some questions similar to that of Eve and so I always make sure I give credit to people but I did some questions similar to hers um, about ourselves so I want to share that as well but yeah so I have the place so we can um, I think that'll be fun Queen of Dooney I think that was a great idea for us to do so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tell us more about it you said we're gonna do a play yeah, well, we gotta we gotta create um, how we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Queen of Duty, can, can can I have? Is there are those physical flyers we can have about the thirty uh, the twenty seventh? Yeah, I I will I will um, I will send it to you. I will okay. email it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Because I know, don't want to. I did. Did I? Are you on the internet? Because I did tag you. Uh -huh. Both of them. Yeah. But you know, when you when you when you have the control of uploading it, then you can do more to it than if I just tag you. In my mind. Huh? Do you upload <laughs> to your Facebook and stuff? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do that. Yeah. And um and then, and then, if you wanted to send it out to your friends, you have it okay. in the original, you know. Uh, okay, yeah, that's okay. what I want to do. That's yeah. what I want to do. Yep, yep, yep. So we're also talking to. Um, mm, 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 where Nawili is at? What's the name of that area? Heidelberg. Uh, Heidelberg. Heidelberg about them managing the art, the uh, art side the gallery yeah yeah okay. so we don't have to do too much and and um yeah so i'm looking out for my elizabeth but i'm not trying to get a lot of um uh i, I want the stuff that we are that the vendors have i want it to be original stuff not where you ordered everything from somewhere so yeah you you already fit mama so <laughs> already fit okay so yeah we're gonna have a lots of lots of lots of fun the goal is that by the first of november we are telling people that we are sold out bam right yep we are sold out you gotta wait for the next show mm -hmm. and this is to really showcase us in what we do you know, um, and yeah, what we do. So we're going to be having this monthly because we got to raise money for a building, you know, like, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah. Okay. So did y'all go to, oh, yeah, I'm going to look at my calendar, Evelyn, and see what day we can go and see the, I can take you to the movie. Okay. okay. Excellent movie. Mama Hit, have you seen it yet? Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Because I'd like to go. When you're going. Yeah. The, uh, you know what? Let's just look at the calendar right now. We're just all sitting here. Evelyn needs to go in the daytime so that um, she can get back for the baby. 
I'm good on a Tuesday or Wednesday. How's that? Or or I'm good Tuesday or Wednesday in the in the morning. I mean Tuesday and when Tuesday and Thursday. I'm good during the day. Whatever. How you do it? Uh -huh. yeah. Me too. Okay. Me too. I'm good those days too. So we talking this Thursday? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me go to Imagine Theater and see what they have. I think the first one starts at 12. They used to start at 10. I know, right? Let me see. You're talking yeah. about um, Bel Air. Where'd you, where do you want to go? The Bel Air? Oh, one? We went to the Imagine on in Royal Oak. You know what I'm talking about? Have you been there? Yeah, I've been. Yeah. Main Street and um, all stomping grounds. Have, uh, Juanita, have you been to see it yet? Well, it started twelve thirty. Oh, Emacs is twelve thirty, three forty-five, seven, and ten ten. No, oh, yeah. I have not seen it yet either. And I'm like so in overload. I can't even add anything to my plate right now. They don't even have it on Thursday. Ain't that some stuff? What the heck? That's a big. Where the heck? Okay, now they got it. Today is Woman King, but not tomorrow, but not Thursday. It's got what? It's gone on Thursday. They a trip. Ain't that something? At the Imagine? Yes. So we can only go today and tomorrow. Today is Tuesday? Yeah. Today they have it at 1230. What time is it? Oh, it's only 10. They got it at 1230 today. Or Emacs. See the Emacs time is different. They have twelve. They have a twelve thirty for standard movie and Emacs. For twelve. I don't know where you? But uh, okay, I don't. I'm not seeing it. Oh, yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Show. Yeah. yeah, I went to. I just typed in the in in the uh, Google search. Imagine Royal Oak, and they pulled up the the. Uh, okay, here it is, okay. right here. Can you see it? So. Yep, yep, 12 30 is one. Uh, Two, the assisted listening, close caption, double chairs. Standard is 12 30. Assisted listening, close caption. I mean, skybox. They all the same. Oh, my stomach. Uh, uh, let me see right here. September. I don't see the other dates. You said that's the only, that's it's right. The, tomorrow is the only one. They show they're showing today and tomorrow. The Woman King is not there on Thursday and Friday. Ain't that something? They they think they slick. I know what they're doing. What mm -hmm. they doing? Well, some they manipulate when it's you know our stuff. Because there was one time when they said you better check your ticket because it, they'll make it look like the black movies aren't doing well because they're um because they're they're they'll sell you tickets for another sh movie. But you get to go in to go see your movie, but to help so the numbers don't look like what they're doing. Uh -huh. Ask how well the movies are doing or to help and make it look like they aren't doing well. So they can't make their profit back. You mean, you know, they're at least what they put into it back. Mm. Yeah, You know how they play. And it ain't nothing changed. It's still doing the same stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm tripping that. Yeah. So today and tomorrow at 1230. And tomorrow's woman, the Emacs experience is 145. I don't have to have all that. I don't know what the Emacs difference is. I ain't seen it, but uh, yeah, I just go to the standard. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it's just oh, I forgot speech. this Thursday. I got a dentist appointment at 12. You uh, busy today? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really. Queen of Dooney, you busy today? Uh today yeah. is Oh, my husband goes walking uh, at 12. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's do it for next week. Let's not try to rush it. Let's do it for next week. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want the movie. Is it there, is it there next week on Tuesday or Thursday? Where it's just a matter of finding out, you know, where it's going to be at. Okay, yeah, so it's like gone that. from the theater after after Wednesday. Mom had we don't I'm know. Well, the I, 
for for the Royal Oak. I didn't really look at. Let me go back. Let me see if they had if it's just playing early in the week or whatever. Um, they don't have any more show time. They don't have. I wonder if I could click on one and see how they're doing. Let's see. 